Understanding pressure units. Converting PSI to bar. Hello and welcome. Today, we're diving into an interesting topic that's essential not only in the field of science and engineering but also in everyday life. We'll explore how to convert PSI to bar, two units of pressure that are widely used around the world. Understanding this conversion will not only expand your knowledge but also equip you with practical skills that can be applied in various scenarios. So, let's get started and demystify these concepts together. Before we delve into the conversion process, it's crucial to understand what PSI and VAR actually represent. Psi stands for pounds per square inch, a unit of pressure that measures the amount of force applied over one square inch of area. It's commonly used in countries like the United States. On the other hand, VAR is a metric unit of pressure, not as widely used in daily life but prevalent in scientific, automotive, and industrial applications. One bar represents the pressure exerted by a force of one kilogram force per square centimeter of area. Understanding these units is the first step in mastering the conversion process. You might wonder, why do we need to convert PSI to bar? The answer lies in the global nature of science, technology, and commerce. Depending on the country or the industry, one unit might be preferred over the other. For example, if you're working with international teams or studying science, you'll encounter both units. Being able to convert between PSI and BAR allows for seamless communication and understanding across different domains. Now, let's get to the heart of today's topic. Converting PSI to bar. The conversion is straightforward once you know the formula. To convert PSI to bar, you use the conversion factor 1 PSI equals 0.0689476 BAR. Here's the step-by-step -step process. 1. Identify the pressure in PSI that you want to convert. 2. Multiply this value by 0.0689476 to convert it to bar. For example, if you have a pressure reading of 10 PSI and want to convert it to bar, you would calculate it as follows. 10 PSI asterisk 0.0689476 equals 0.689476 BAR. This simple calculation allows you to convert any pressure reading from PSI to bar accurately. Congratulations on learning how to convert PSI to bar. This knowledge is not only useful in academic and professional settings but also enhances your understanding of the world around you. Remember, mastering such conversions can make you more versatile and adaptable whether you're reading a tire pressure gauge or interpreting scientific data. We hope you found this video helpful and look forward to exploring more fascinating topics together. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.